Let me first just confirm that the FAA and the NTSB has confirmed that a, a plane carrying eight passengers and two pilots uh, did crash approximately 80 miles northeast of Denver uh, tonight. We do not at this point have absolute confirmation uh, of the number of fatalities. Uh, I do have uh, a list of the passengers uh, who were on the airplane. Uh, there were two student athletes, Oklahoma State student athletes, Dan Lawson and Nate Fleming. Pat Noyes, who uh, was a direct, is the uh, director of basketball operations. Brian Lewinstra, athletic trainer. Will Hancock, coordinator of media relations. Kendall Durfee, uh, an engineer for the OSU radio network. Bill Tegans, um, KWTV and the voice of Oklahoma State football and basketball. And two pilots, Denver Mills and Bjorn Falstrom. I can tell you that the NTSB uh, is en route to the crash scene. Uh, they will be uh, on hand and begin their investigation on Sunday. Uh, and there, uh, there really isn't anything we can say or even speculate on at this point uh, as, as far as, uh, as the cause uh, of the crash. At this point, Dr. Uh, James Halligan, President of Oklahoma State University. This is indeed a very sad day for Oklahoma State University. I have uh, met, my wife and I have met with uh, Coach Sutton, the other coaches, and the players. We have uh, ensured that uh, our counseling staff is available to all the players to try to address their psychological needs. We've also tried to make certain that they have an opportunity to contact all their parents. We've also made a sincere effort to contact members of the family of the individuals who are on the plane. Our c concern at this time is in particular of the families that uh, are involved to make certain that we contact uh, appropriate members as quickly as possible. That has been our primary concern. At an appropriate time in the future, Oklahoma State University will conduct a memorial service uh, such that the uh, contribution that these individuals have made to our athletic program can be appropriately recognized. But for now, it's our intent to focus on the families involved and on the players to make certain that we appropriately support them. But thank you very much. Thank you. Terry Dock, you want to add anything to that? Okay. <clears throat> just to echo what President Halligan just said, our thoughts and prayers are with the uh, families and our basketball team, coaches. Uh, that's real. That's it. That was Terry Don Phillips, the athletic director um, here at, uh, at OSU. We also heard from President James Halligan along with the uh, uh, sports information director, Steve Buzzard. Um, Unfortunately, definitely not the news any of us wanted to hear. Send it back to you. Okay. Kelly McAllister in Stillwater uh, press conference has just confirmed uh, 10 have died in the plane crash, uh, carrying OS part of the OSU basketball team, about a third of the OSU basketball team, back to Stillwater after a game in Boulder, Colorado this afternoon. Among them, two players, Dan Clausen and Nate Fleming, and uh, several others who were sort of uh, behind the scenes, including uh, the voice of the Cowboys and our buddy, Bill Tegans. Our hearts are just breaking right yeah. now. I think we knew we were going to hear the name, but it was still hard to hear it. And certainly our hearts go out to everybody because we're yeah. not the only ones hurt and sure. touched by this. Sure. Um, Brian Winstra, Will Hancock, Kendall Durfee, uh, Bill Tegans, Denver Mills, uh, Bjorn Falstrom, the pilots, Denver Mills and Bjorn Falstrom also killed in the crash. Uh, I did talk to Bill uh, Tegan's wife a little while ago, and she'd heard the news, and um, she's doing okay, but, you know, she's, she's stunned. So uh, uh, still trying to figure out exactly what happened with the plane crash, uh, but it didn't make it far. The plane didn't make it far out of Boulder before it went down this, after this evening. Right, and uh, in case you were 
just tuning in, um, one of three chartered planes that uh, OSU was uh, bringing its basketball team back from uh, Denver went down tonight. And uh, Kelly just read you the list of the folks that were on board. Um, strangely, Steve Buzzard said that he could not confirm the number of fatalities, but uh, the NTSB and the FAA are being quoted by the national media as saying that all 10 people on board uh, were fatalities.